hello it is a vlog it turns out we're vlogging we're studio vlogging we're doing a studio vlog who thought this was gonna happen everyone because I've been talking about it on insta stories for like two weeks now um, I did get this jazzy new camera I can't show it to you because I'm currently using it maybe if I feel so compelled I'll take my other chunky camera which is actually like hanging out like right there <laughs> and uh, you know insert a little clip of that but it's just the the g7x it's the mark II or whatever they I bought it used on eBay so interesting I know we are just a riveting studio vlog right now anyway if you're not familiar I'm Kate I run the shop planner money press and uh, yeah I do shit with planners I sell stickers I draw things I draw my pets specifically so yeah this is Bebbers her name is Mabel I call her Beverly or Beberton or Bebbers or Mebs or Bebs and never Mabel but <laughs> there's hair everywhere oh my god this is such a bad choice okay now that I've lint rolled my entire self um anyway that's Mabel so it's currently Friday it's 5 30 I finished working about a half hour ago because I do have a full-time job and I'm gonna work on a little doodle because my friends at Parasol Paper are having a Totoro themed release and I'm gonna do the like a little bun thing to go along with it as a freebie I think I think that's what we agreed on <laughs> who even knows so I'm gonna hop into Illustrator and get that done right now Well, it's clearly later as evidenced by my very subtle lighting. It's like 8 o'clock right now. I recorded a little bit of me making the Totoro buns, but then my camera battery died. And I don't have a second one because I just bought this camera, so I had to charge it. I uh, made myself a hefty margarita in the meantime, and uh, I don't know. Let's find some other stuff to work on, shall we? We've people over, so someone gets to hang out with me. Shut in the room the whole night. That's not gonna focus, is it? This room is a mess, like I said. I need to clean. It's actually a lot better than it used to be because this is like the entirety of everything that needs to be gone through, whereas before it was like stuff was like hold away places. Um, so I've been organizing for the past bit and this is kind of what's left that's my ink that i need to uh put out in the mail because i have an hp printer as you can see it's printing right now one of the totoro sheets and it uses instant ink but they never give me bags so i had to go and request a bag for like nine cartridges because they literally never give them to me so we might work on some of this because <laughs> it's a source of stress in my life my bop is being very encoded scratching at the door apparently. Brisket is just the best. Brisket, are you the best? Can I have a paw please? Thank you. You're the best. Honestly, this is the best part. Ooh, look at that. Third party mats violating that silhouette warranty. They're so cute though, my little Totoros. Look at my little cute Totoro Mabels. So these are part of the release at Parasol Paper this weekend. She's doing like a My Neighbor Kiwi, I think, is what she ended up calling it. Kiwi is her chinchilla character. I do have a little haul that I want to go through really quickly. So I haven't been buying as many planner stickers lately because quite frankly, I'll show you my planner sticker situation in a minute, but 
I do still like doing swaps because for one I really like supporting other shop owners and I really like I don't know kind of like the sense of community that, that a swap gives you so I did swap with the Dolce Planner she sent me this cute little handwritten note on this very adorable note paper I love it so we did a little shop credit swap of like $30 I got a sample from Chasing Chills thrown in there and then she threw in Oh, I've already misplaced one of the samplers. She had another small hand-drawn sampler, not in the style of her shop. And then she threw in this sampler, which I'm really grateful for because I almost bought the sheet and then I didn't because I was kind of trying to keep it reasonable, you know? And then all I got were girl sheets in various skin tones. So I'm going to breeze through those right now. And I did get a sheet of hooping stickers because we might be the only two planner sticker shops that have hooping stickers. I'm just going to throw that out there. So that was my swap with Dolce Planner. I'm really excited to use them in my dailies and my journaling spreads because that's what I'm super into lately. Good morning. Well, it's not morning. It's like 1230. It's Saturday now. I My camera battery died is really what happened there. It. <laughs> I uh, finished up the Totoro things and then I did a few other shop related things and uh, that was pretty much it for the night because then I just played Final Fantasy VII. So today... I need to get myself looking presentable, approximately, because we're looking a little scrubby right now with the hair looking like I'm in some sort of band that I'm the bass player of. Is it a great look? No. Am I going anywhere today? Also no. So this, this will do. So, like I kind of said, I already did a little bit of planning today, but I do have to fill in a few spaces that I left behind in my weekly spread, so I'm gonna go just do that now. Ta -da! Then here's the snazzy Moterm planner that I moved into. I literally just moved everything from my VDS into the Moterm. Um, and switched out the journaling card at the front because it matched a little bit better, but I like it quite a bit. I think I'm going to film a quick comparison video between the VDS and the Moterm, just because they are so similar, the Touch Me at least. Um, so maybe I'll do that today too. Who knows? The time has come to tackle the couch. There's so much stuff on the couch. That cardboard box is literally just art supplies that I took out of storage that I need to go deal with, and the rest of it is not that bad there's some recycling on there there's some stickers that need to be sorted there's some miscellaneous things that i'm sure have to go upstairs some dog treats like it's just we're gonna do it though so this amazon box has literally been sitting on this couch for like i want to say three months it is a replacement joystick for a Joy-Con. What happened was my left Joy-Con had really bad Joy-Con drift. How many times am I going to say Joy-Con in the sentence? And we're we're pretty like we're we're a house of engineers in here. So I did end up taking it apart and spraying it with contact cleaner and that did work. So it was a little more deep than if you were to spray contact cleaner on it just from the outside and it didn't like erode the plastic or anything. So I'm glad it worked, but I'm also glad that I have this really cheap replacement kit just in case it happens again because it probably will. This is literally um, a clamshell for sticker paper that I use for all my important documents. <laughs> I need a better filing system, but I also am not an adult. We're like power squatting in front of the vlog right now. I ended up putting these on my Redbubble shop, but I don't actually like the quality of them too much, so I never said anything about it, but I do have masks. That's pretty cool. And then I also have my Porg mask, one of my faves. 
but it was also one of the first ones I sewed, so it's really big and the stitching is totally falling apart. I've been looking for this. This is very important and I'm glad I found it because Massachusetts is letting you mail-in vote this year and I need to fill this out in order to get my ballots. I would say that was a success. We got a clear ass couch. So I decided that I'm gonna film my VDS versus Moterm comparison video, but I don't wanna set up all my filming stuff in the living room because that's normally where I have to film. So we're gonna try this folding table that I have to finish <laughs> setting up. Okay, so impromptu filming area set up. I have the two planners that I'm comparing here. I have the lights that are, they're not as good as my studio lights. I'll show you the, this is how I record by the way. You can see that there's shadows kind of like here where my finger is. See that right there? Not ideal. So um, with the studio lights you'd get a little bit less of that but I'm kind of working with what I'm working with because I'm not trying to set up a whole thing for a quick like 10 minute video. <laughs> um, these I got on Amazon. They're powered by USB so I have them plugged into a power bank back there and then my camera I have set up in kind of an interesting way. I think I, I haven't seen too many people say they film like this. I know a lot of people film on their phones but I just don't. Okay so here's the whole filming setup situation. We have the camera on a tripod. You'll notice that the front legs are kind of, you know, perpendicular to the ground. The back leg is longer, so I have a, a hefty stack of coins in this bag weighing it down. They make things that you can buy to weigh things down. Just use coin. Oh, so as a side note, I film everything in the Canon EOS utility. You basically hook like a, it's micro USB on this end and USB on this end. And then you turn your camera on, make sure the SD card is in it. The utility will pop up. You hit live view shoot over here and then the screen pops up. The only thing is that when you record it, it records upside down because of the way that I have the camera situated. See the top of it so you're actually filming like upside down. <laughs> but I just flip that in Premiere Pro when I'm done. This lighting is so bad. This lighting is just, you're like, <laughs> I just finished filming. That was a really quick video. I have to turn these lights off. This is this is too much. Much better. So I just finished filming that video. That shouldn't take too long to edit because I think it was literally like eight minutes of footage. So might get that up today. We might do that. Honestly, I'm just tickled that I get to use this dongle because all my other laptops have had memory card readers and this one like plugs into the USB-C and does like a little clippy clap thing that I'm not going to do right now because I'm connected, but it's the little things.
hey there so now it's sunday it's like late on sunday what time it's like 5 30 almost um i'm just sitting down at my computer for the day and i've pulled up my pick list to work on order so i only have four open orders right now it's a pretty light load pretty sure i'm gonna knock it out in about 20 minutes and just get on with my life so basically the way that i organize my pick list is i consolidate it so that i have the quantity counts for everything by variation and then i'll sort it from high quantity to low quantity that's just what i prefer personally from there i color code it um based on paper type or if it's available stock like washi tape any of those things so we have gray for washi tape green for foldovers because they're printed on regular matte paper and everything else is premium matte if i have clear matte i'll do another you know color and then usually if i have sticker albums i'll do a different color because that's a physical item but you have to put a sticker on top of it it's just you know it's the way i organize things so we're gonna go ahead and knock that out and then uh who knows I'm gonna watch some botched in the background because I really like to watch trashy TV that's like mindless while I work on orders. It's kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. So that's it small tiny easy batch of orders is ready to go for tomorrow I didn't show printing labels or anything because I don't think I'm good enough at editing to like blur that out we'll find out if I'm good enough at editing to blur out the packing slips that I was signing who even knows but I think I'm gonna end the vlog here I'm pretty much done with shop stuff for the night I'm just going to do some more little plannery stuff I haven't finished my complete August setup yet so I'm gonna work on that and then I think I'm gonna watch Totoro because the parasol paper release has me feeling some kind of way and I'm like in a mood so that about sums it up hope this was a mildly entertaining video I don't know how to end vlogs so later <laughs>